Hey guys, this is Cakes again from Sound Driven, giving you the first of the Sound Driven tutorials. Now, I tried to think of a, I tried to think of an easy beginner tutorial for the very beginning of all this, but I really couldn't think of anything. Like, I tried doing one where I was gonna teach everyone how to basically use Evo Studio, but it didn't really go out too well. So that's a no. So I think I'd just do something that was easier for me to do. Um, and this is how I, I do. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I make my trans beats. But just the uh, just drum wise only, just how to make the trance beat, the trance drums. So what I have right now is already loaded bass line. Um, my audio is gone, so I'll give it a second. Let's see. Now let me load it back in the ASIO hall so it sounds better. Um, hold on a second. Minimize, maximize. Maximize, minimize. I mean, minimize, maximize. Minimize, maximize. Okay, fine. I'll just go off the regular audio. Okay, so I'm going to go off of the speakers, which I don't like because it's a little bit slower. As you can see, this is the bass line from A Pharaoh's Sunrise. So, I'm going to show you how to put the drums on top of it. And the bass line will help because you'll, you'll get the seat. What I suggest best is to make the bass line first before you make the drum beat. Because then you'll get more feel for it. So, well, I think, and me personally, it helps me out a little bit better. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my packs. And sorry yet again for the uh, quality because the computer is a little slow. So, I'm going to the Vengeance 3 and I'm going to go into the bass drums and to the trance kicks. Um, just fine. First, I'm going to try to find one, like a soft one. Ah, like, oh, there we go. Okay, I'll put this in. Four steps. Okay, next, I want one, one to be layered with it. Now, I'm not going to actually do the layer, I'm just going to put it in just to show. Oh, ooh, that's a good one. 61. Because I'll show you exactly what some of the secrets to that song. In the beginning, about 16, 16 beats of the intro, I was using just one kick. And then the other 16, I lay, I used the second one on top of it to give a full sound. So. Okay, next thing on the list is a, um, a ride. The ride actually helps it out, it adds I don't know what it exactly does, but every time I put, every time I make a trance song, I always have to have a ride. It just sounds, it just sounds better for some reason. So, symbols, a ride, and let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a good one. Number twelve. Put that in here. Try not to copy. All right, four. Too loud. Let's try it here. Okay, let's see what's next on the list. Next on the list is a hi hat. So I'm gonna go back into the Vengeance 3. Um, I'm gonna go to the loops here. Well, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clone and I'm going to load a um, free slicer because since the since the um, project file is at 143 and these are at 140, it's not gonna automatically go to 143. So by putting the fruity slicer in and dragging these into the slicer, it'll automatically change the tempo of the loop. So let's see here. That's a good one already. Click. Let's see. I think that's actually the one I did use for the song. <laughs> I'm just picking random stuff, but it's starting to sound well with this one. Let's see. Okay, that's another good one. Save. And I'll show you why I use two loops for the same purpose same purpose for when I was showing you the, um, the two drums. You know, one drum and then two for bigger effect. One loop and two for bigger effect. And the ride. Okay, next on my list is the claps, which it doesn't matter which order you go into, like you can either go to hi-hats or whatever, but I'm gonna go to the claps. 
So I'm gonna go back to the Vengeance 2 because I, I like going back in and out of the Vengeance 1, 2, and other things. But right now I'm just, I would have gone in the whole bunch of whole other kids, but I'm just really trying to get things done a little fast just to show you a basic view. And this does not include putting into the mixer and all that. This is just the basic drums. The mixing is up to you. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go to uh Oh, that's a good one. 92. Drag that in on top of the land. Clicky, clicky. That can be at the right volume. Okay, now I want to have one for a bigger sound. So. Okay, that's a good one. 87. Put that here. Actually, I'm going to put that one on top. I don't know why. Uh, da, 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 click. That one's too loud. Turn it down. Need a little more fuller sound without it and with it. Okay, two more things on the list before a trance beat is complete. First thing on the list is the hi hat. Now, um, to me, I think the hi hat is the most important part because depending on the way it sounds will determine how the rest of you, how the rest of the listeners will take your beat. If you use something like like this, it's not going to be as lively as if you use Something like this will have more energy, which people need to start using these hi hats a little bit more because they sound a bit better. That one's close. Let me see if I can find another one that has a different sound. You know, actually, I think the one I used for this project was number 99. That yeah, that's the one. Okay. All right. So I'll put that on top of the loop. Click, 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 click. Now let's turn it down a bit. See, the strands is already coming together. The last thing we need on the list is just a fast hi-hat to go in the background of the lower hi-hat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go to this one drum kit used for mostly hip-hop stuff. And I'm going to use one of the hi-hats from there. Because I like the way these type ones sound. Okay, number 30 is a good one. Put number 30 in here. Oh, actually right there. Um, all the way across the board. Maybe turn it down a bit and... Marvelous. And this, this everybody is how I basically make my trance tracks. Now, I'll just turn this da bass down and I'll, I guess I could show you from the beginning. Like how I would how I would structure it out. I would start off with because in the song you start off with one clap. I think not that one. This one and one loop, the smallest loop. The loop and the clap would um, would be um, automated and they would go up. When it gets to about 16 bars, I put in a third kick. I put in the ride. I put in the second clap and the hi-hat and the other bass okay and then when the um while it's in those other 16 bars the last loop rises and at the end of the eight bars the hi-hat finally comes in and Alright, I hope this tutorial helped a bit for all the uh, trans producers out there. This is just the basic, 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 basic beat. I mean, you can go even further by putting each one of these drums and going into the uh, the mixer over here. Um, possibly um, adding adding more oomph to a kick, getting rid of uh, hissing sounds from hi-hats, making the clap sound more tighter, and whatnot. But this is just the basic, like... For trance on the go, even though it's not supposed to be on the go, but you know, most of the time I try to do that too. I kind of try to avoid the mixer. I kind of like just you know natural sounding drums, like they already sound pretty well. But just adding more effects on it, just sometimes, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it, it just makes it too much of a hassle. Goodness, you get a headache from all that over time. But basically, this is a very well acceptable trance beat, which could possibly be heard in many 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 energetic trance possibly some uplifting but mostly energetic energetic and sometimes hard trance 
they will use faster tempos, sometimes around 145. And then your hard trance will go all the way to 150, but that doesn't sound right with this beat. But this is the basic beat. Alright, I hope this helped you guys. Um, take care.